Hello everyone and welcome to a new Rush Attack Alliance War video. Once again I'm recording after the video itself. Uh, we're looking here at Grim Steel Tank, uh, 7300 and something team. I don't remember why I couldn't record this video with audio, I just know that it's so much easier playing without doing the commentary. Uh, I cannot even express this to you and uh, you can tell from my performance here because I believe this was quite a good war, even a rush attack war. We're doing the standard rush attack red setup that's extremely powerful with Hammer Clan, Brimstone and Aslar. This time I opted for Chloris, an amazing hero of the month. I really enjoy using her even <coughs> on another account I tried uh, using her with another healer, uh, another one that boosts HP because that helps me retain the attack buff for longer and three strong hitters, something like these three reds that I'm having. Okay, first off we saw the red diamond, yes we did see it, however this was such, so much better of a move because it uh, charged our heroes in one move instead of having to go for a messy diamond combo that might charge the the entire enemy team and this way look at that almost the whole the whole team is almost dead two of the five are dead and now we must figure out what our next move will be I obviously opted for killing the <laughs> the tree uh, we should call him Groot if anyone saw the movie anyways now I wanted to try using waddles on uh, Toon Vivica of course it didn't work, she even reflected, she didn't just resist, but we can try and try again. Now we're setting up uh, reds and greens, Vivica is healing, that's a massive heal of course, nothing new for Toon Viv, but we're basically just playing it slow and steady, the game is ours, the first move was crucial, and that ladies and gentlemen is how you win a rush attack battle in one move basically and of course I was uh, pretty lucky to get such a good opening board but it took uh, wisdom to not make the diamond but rather make the move that we did now unfortunately we're still struggling because of the goddamn mindless attack at this point I should stop using waddles it's not worth the risk but that's okay I just wanted to finish it earlier, faster, but I did the opposite. Spamming Chloris, it keeps our attack buff up. So basically with this team I have 50%, I believe, from her attack buff. I have uh, elemental defense down. And uh, I don't know what's the name of uh, Hammer Clang's status ailment, but basically it also weakens the opponent. At this point, I'm just spamming waddles <laughs> for fun mostly. Let's let's do it again. Let's see if it works this time. 264 damage. That's huge. <laughs> and now I think it should be over. Let's see. Maybe I can read. Oh, no, that's brimstone. Come on, me. Come on, past me. Click on hammer clank. I wanna see what the status effect is. Uh, we're not gonna be able to see it, I believe. I mean, and she resists it anyway, so that's that's making this fight uh, way longer than it needed to be. <laughs> they should have an, uh, <laughs> a flea button as well, the defense team, because come on, this was over 25 moves ago. And finally, Waddles worked! <laughs> now we can proc the mindless attack, the shifty, shifting mindless attack. Yay! And will she finally die? I actually don't know what is best. Should I activate Brimstone or Hammer Clang first in this scenario? I think it depends on Brimstone's uh, core, if it is charged or not. Let's see, we have a nasty team with a nasty purple tank, the Gui guy. I remember him 
being troublesome but I wanted to uh, bring a team here that can dispel those effects so of course Christine Day and Annabelle would help here and basically this is the same thing that a team that I use for regular wars it's quite effective in rush attack as well the last one that we used is a bit altered okay what can we do here we have a couple of ways of matching those yellows it's not a long-term solution we can charge our blues in multiple ways mm, I don't see a clear f opening move here maybe just the three yellows mm, no can we make a diamond out of this Yeah, that had uh, uh, the uh, the possibility of making a diamond. We didn't have such luck at this moment. And now they can revive with those greetings. I, oh, I actually don't know if I can cleanse that. Here we wanted to use Starwalker first. Christine Day is getting low quite low. I, di I didn't even see what caused that much damage. We want to use her first. No, I'm not going to use her first. How come? Am I saving her for I think that's a misplay. Or maybe I knew something at that moment that I don't know now. I mean, I guess it's not a big difference. Oh, I, I tried to kill the, the tank and activate his GUI, the slime slob, what, whatever the name is, and then use Christine Day. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. But I don't know if I used uh, Christine Day first, if that would have uh, dispelled his effect, even though I believe it is undispellable. Mm, it's hard to tell. Could have charged Star Walker there, but I opted not to. I guess there is a risk that yeah, he will lose mana. Odds are that uh, Annabelle won't lose mana because she's a cleric. Hmm. Now I have to figure out if I want to wait for Buffett to hit me and then heal or not. I'm pretty healthy. I think the move here was to heal, but I think that I did the opposite. Yes, because now healing would I probably deal, yes, more damage than Starwalker has HP and Annabelle actually cleanses and dispels first and then heals, which means she's not the best versus Prophet, Starwalker and such heroes. I think that I have to take the L here because I have no moves that won't trigger the opponent. Yeah, I have to sacrifice Starwalker. Unfortunately, the board is really dead. That's the main issue. If we can. Should we set up? We had the ability to set up a four match there. It might have been the better move. Uh, maybe not. It depends on the RNG from this mana reduction. Okay, so we, we did well. Luck was on our side. Uh, uh, I could choose to hit Prophet or oh, we're stalling. Okay, that was a lucky combo, but now we pay the price for our gamble. We'll see if it pays off this time. I didn't play against this tank very often, and it's quite tricky. Oh, this saved us. The Pierce. I think it was the Pierce that did really well. It's quite tricky, especially with these uh, three particular heroes that are left. You do, but you don't want to use Annabelle. The same goes for other heroes. You do want to cleanse and dispel, but at the same time it's risky because... Like in the earlier example, we killed Starwalker. It's tricky, but I'm glad that 
we managed to persevere because this was definitely winnable. It should have been, it should have been easier, an easier win. Uh, but the most important thing is that we took down another strong team. Now yet another 7k team. We have a Justice on the wing. Quite, she can be quite dangerous, as you saw and I saw in my last Alliance War video. And I'm going for my green team, basically the same one that I use in the in the normal attacks. That's mm, debatable if I could have improved it in some way. I don't know. Yeah, I'm browsing through my heroes to see. Oh, I decided that Vivica, the second costume of Vivica, will be more effective here. Have I decided? Yes, I have. She's really great in rush attack. I, I'm so sad that sh she got uh, overshadowed by her Toon version. Because I loved this costume. Especially in rush attack. We're going for secure greens. Had a couple of ways of matching that, but decided to go for this one. I don't think there was a particular reason. Matt and uh, Xiamara are no-brainers. Now, can we kill Grimsteel here? Yes, luckily we can. Toon Liana is a beast. Oh, we got some greens. Some more green tiles in the middle. That will help us for sure. Uh, what shall be our priority? I think our defense is our, our attack is lowered, so I don't think that uh, the reviver there will die. Yeah, if it wasn't lowered, I think he. I mean, surely he would have been dead. Now I decide to kill Toon Vivica because, yet again, she can destroy my whole team if she fires a uh, Toon um, Justice. Sorry. And uh, on the other hand, Toon. Sartana, she's kind of underwhelming to be honest. She didn't do much. Let's make sure with them to take down the reviver with our minor damage, since uh, that's how Demilune works. Xiamara is probably dead. Oh no, she's not because she. I don't know what happened, but I saw her proc the, mm, the troop effect, or her passive, no, that's her passive, I believe, I'm not sure, one of those things, maybe both, which, I think both, actually, which heals her more, so that comes from a buff, I don't know what gave her a buff, but here we're just closing out the match, yet another great victory versus a pretty strong team, if I may say so myself. What will be our next target? It is Obakan. So this team power is 5,700, quite low, quite a bit lower. I'm looking at Wolfgang because I think I wanted to bring Nogu here, my new hero, even though he's not finished yet. Because he is great versus boosted health. And I wanted to make uh, use of that. However, Ludwig isn't that predictable with the health boost because it's delayed. Right, he hits and then after a couple of turns he does more damage and boosts the HP. I think that's how he functions. He's getting so, so old that I don't even remember. So we're setting up a green team apparently. Um, so it would be interesting to bring Nogu and so the problem with Nogu and Archie is that I would use the same legendary troop on both of them, but I can't, obviously, if I bring them in the same team. However, if I bring Kongalach, then I can make use, so Nogu and Kongalach, or Archie and Kongalach, then I can make use of both of my level 30 legendary troops. Will my past self remember that? No, I'm, uh, I'm not sure what to do. My broth says shot for the dispel which is very important oh i wanted archie okay i wanted to test nogu and use him versus the boosted health but i also want archie uh, because of the 
yes to prevent their buffs and they have some crucial buffs especially with that obakan costume but also ludwig and even uh, even kalo's stone skin can get really annoying i'm sure everyone here knows that i think we had a a chance to make a green diamond there in three moves but that would have been too much so that's fine I want okay okay I used Archie first to see if Nogu's secondary damage the minor damage is enough to kill him I think it is and yes yes it is I think their troops are not the best I haven't paid attention at this moment while reviewing maybe you can uh, turn back the video <laughs> and check but I believe that is something that I took notice of. Kufu, even though he is pretty old at this point, he is still dangerous as he proved just now. The sand damage will be annoying as well, so it's uh, dangerous at this point. Uh, we can go for probably Thought Amun first. Okay. Uh, oh, yes, I wanted to cleanse and dispel first, I guess. Mm, and now we saved uh, Gortooth for last. I hate the revive from Obakan. If he revives again, we're in big trouble. Okay, that was lucky. Now I think... Uh, ah, I didn't see how many turns of... Uh, Counter-attack are left. Okay, I took a risk and attacked the Reviver Mother North. Now the green combo with purples and yellows, but the yellows are irrelevant. You think everyone dies? Oh, no, no, I don't want to flee. Okay, Nogo is left alive with barely any HP. Uh, he will be able to survive one slash attack. Just barely, and we set up the last match, and wow, Nogu, my new hero, managed to clutch it out. Oh, it's not yet over. Three purples, perfect. So he did manage. We had three purple heroes, so the three purple tiles were strong enough to actually kill Kufu. Hmm, 20, 25 talent nodes. Plus, being level 90, he was a menace in this attack. He's definitely getting a bit o older. Actually, at this moment, he even got a costume. So, yeah. Still a rush attack beast. It's weird that I actually got uh, have Ludwig for my last attack and I'm not lo using it for a one-shot. I don't want to risk it uh, with a one-shot. Oh, yes, I remember now. I was traveling. That's why I couldn't uh, record the video. Luckily my internet was fine. And this is the end of the war. Uh, so it's clear that we won. So I didn't need to take any risks. And I apologize of course. That is why I don't have sound in game. Because I had to mute all sound from the video. Actually I could have uh, recorded it differently now that I think about it. And we would have still had the sound from in game but I'm sorry I did not think about that at the moment while traveling I'll try to remember if I have to do it again okay so I had hoped to save Thorn for the left side but we're not gonna risk it at this point no need to activate Ludwig yet again because that would just basically um, reduce the mana generation buff of his. Okay, another problematic hero is dead. Uh, who do we target first? That's up for debate. I decided to go for the one hero that can actually heal himself. And yes, I believe this team, the enemy team, also had uh, weaker troops because that tune, Elkanen, really did die way too easily in comparison to the ones that I'm used to facing. So maybe he wasn't limit broken or... But I believe he didn't have proper troops. If you want, you can go back and see. This gets rid of Varus. 
and the second to last attack is done we are top of our team at the moment and now let's figure out how many points we need to get the first spot in the war hopefully it stays that way yes we have to go for this one the tougher one I believe this is what random heroes we get did we use Kongala? we didn't I, I'm sure surely I remember to use him now right? Malin is okay, but not the best. The Pyota can be great. Oh, but no, Loki is still available. Yes, I remember to use Kongala. The Pyota and Kongala, not the best combo. Definitely not the best combo. But the Pyota is great versus Kalo. Not so good versus any of the other heroes here. So I might change this, honestly. No, I just changed the troop. And... Yeah, yeah I'm... I'm realizing this, but do I have a better option? Jabber can be good, but also he can be risky. Mitsuko could be good as well. Lixiu or Laiju, however you want to call her. Loki. Kalo of my own. I usually don't take him on offense. Yeah, I'm looking at Mitsuko. She can be great here. What is the final decision? Damn, I still can't believe what Nogu managed to do. It was a great deb debut for him with that comeback. The purple move sets up a red. Oh, and the purple, so we have our reds charged. Do I use uh, my healer for the extra damage? I don't think in this case that is the move. Nice, I'm targeting uh, Mother North first and two actually two uh, fiends went over there oh I decided to kill her perfect that does damage to I killed her with the bunny which that de dealt damage to Richard as well now we can heal after <laughs> okay we cannot heal after Richard hits us I decided to stall here and not go for the big move that's interesting. That, that's actually playing it safe. So this is something that I wouldn't do probably if I'm commentating because I would not be focused enough to calculate the actual numbers, number of turns, number of damage, I mean the damage per turn. Here I decided to use, now this was really smart, I decided to use the Piota while I still can on Kalo. Then I used uh, the Doggy to put fiends on Kalo but I actually forgot that these fiends don't do too much but this is it we're gonna finish it with Kongala or whatever and I thank you all for watching I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope to see you again in the next video we're gonna check the points and we are first in fact perfect